Hey, come here a sec. I got a question for you. Oh. Yes, my love? Hey, love. Would you mind coming here and discussing something? I'd like to enhance our relationship with our communication skills. Sure, honey. What's up? Hey, come here a sec. I got a question for you. Yeah, what's up? So, how do you feel about pornography in the context of a relationship? Hmm. Well, I think pornography uh, is a good thing for a relationship. Um, as far as it giving ideas and you can find new boundaries between a couple when you're watching pornography and when you see things on film that other people have done, it doesn't seem quite so out of the realm for you two to do. And what's your take on pornography in a relationship? Um, I think it could be used uh, as a, a marital aid. Um, however, the types of pornography that are commonly available are generally directed towards single males. Um, for example, you know, they're, they're no plot and all action kind of things. Um, and yeah, I, I agree with you on the point that it can, uh, stretch your boundaries. It can show you new techniques and new things. Um, and so, yeah, I think overall it's, it's healthy for a relationship. Okay, describe for me how men get turned on. I think this ties into the previous uh, question. Um, is it men are mainly mental uh, as far as uh, visual stimulation. Um, the textual things, the feeling the liquid warmth of a woman's tongue uh, or a man's tongue if you're gay um, the visual things the the looking at the way a woman has her hair the soft curves and the supple breasts and things like that it's it's all visual for guys um, I think mainly uh, and so that's why porno, I think, is directed mainly at men, is because it's a visual medium um, and things like that. I think that's mainly how men get turned on, is by uh, looking at images or uh, looking at their partner's uh, body. Is, is how mainly men get turned on. And uh, the manual stimulation, uh, feeling a partner's caress, feeling a partner's hands in the genital region, and, and so on and so forth, uh, is really how, how men get turned on. No storyline, just, uh, just sex kind of thing. So what turns on women? Well, I think women are mentally turned on. Um, it's not so much the visual, it's not so much the sensation prior to actually foreplay. Um, you need to get inside the mind and engage it and uh, connect, I guess. Um, and, you know, there again, this is a generalization and there's always people that don't quite fit inside that definition. But in general, I think that women do need more mental connection. You need to feel close to the person that you're going to be with and you need to feel like there's an understanding there, there's a connection there and that doesn't happen just based on how they look. It's based on your conversations, it's based on who you are and so that's part of the reason I think why women don't understand pornography and don't necessarily get turned on in the same way men do by watching these films 
they, they don't get into your head. There's no storyline. There's no fantasy there that a woman can connect with because just the sex act itself isn't enough to spark that intense turn-on that I think porn usually gives to men. And so, you really want to get with a woman? Get inside her head first. What's the difference between dirty versus erotic? Is it an act or is it a mental mindset? Hmm. I think that it's kind of an interesting question because from when you're young, what is considered dirty changes. And when you get older, it either becomes erotic or it becomes a normal mainstream thing. And so you, there's psychological boundaries, I think, that you cross as far as you know what is dirty and what is erotic. You can go down the street and you'll get 20 different answers if you ask 20 different people. But when you get to some things, some things are just plain dirty when it comes to humans. Um, we have an issue with pedophilia, and I think that 99.999% of us believe that pedophilia is just wrong and that it's dirty and shouldn't be done. Um, but when you start asking about things like S&M or foot fetishes or fetishes just in general, you're going to get varied answers. And what was dirty can become erotic. And so I think it's a mutating thing, and it's hard to say exactly where that line gets drawn, just in general.